Hi everybody, welcome back to Nanny's Reborn Nursery. It's been two or three days, hasn't it? Uh, today is Wednesdays, and on Wednesdays we wear pink. So, I wanted to pop in today with my beautiful, beautiful, sweet rose. Uh, I've not had rose on in quite some time. And I wanted to pop in with her and do a little close change with her. She's got on this beautiful uh, blue knit wintry outfit. And I'm going to put this on her today. It is a pink, um, I believe this is a, this is May, yeah, this is a mayoral uh, pink uh, little onesie outfit. It's got a little cute teddy bear on the front. It's got two faux, um, Actually, they're not faux buttons. They're real, they're real wood. Real wooden buttons. And they're kind of made up like their little dungaree type. Um, a dungaree type outfit. But yeah, um, it's pink and it looks like it's got a little white shirt under it. But it's made that way. And it's got the little feet in it. It's got little polka dots on the feet. And then the back, the back zips up. So I'm gonna put this on her today for Wednesdays We Wear Pink. So let me get this unbuttoned. Okay, you guys, so I did something a while ago. <laughs> I made a purchase that, honestly, I didn't think I would ever make this purchase, uh, just simply because I never really, um, I never really saw a need for it, even since I've been collecting my babies i've not seen um a need for it up until now um as you all know uh, i am going to the doll expo in raleigh north carolina and uh, next month actually it's almost i can almost say this month so exciting but yeah i'm uh, i'm going to that raleigh show and I've been racking my brain trying to think, you know, okay, now I'm going to have my purse. Um, I'm possibly more than likely going to buy a baby. Um, I may buy some new little outfits for my new baby or some of my babies here in the nursery. And <laughs> I, my knees, I have really, really, really bad knees. I mean, like, I limp. I walk like a duck, okay? I kind of have that wobble to myself, and it's because my knees are so bad. But um, I'm kind of handicapped in a way. Not really, not officially, but I consider myself partially handicapped because I have a, I have a really hard time. And um, I have back issues. Um, if I would lose some of this, that might help out a lot, but that's beside the point right now. <laughs> but yeah, I got to thinking, I thought, how am I going to carry my purse on my shoulder? And if I buy a baby, then I'm going to have to carry it through there, through the expo. And, you know, it just hit me. I thought, you know what? I'm going to buy me a pram. So I got on Amazon.com. And this is a um, baby stroller slash pram. Uh, you can turn the bassinet uh, part of this uh, stroller facing you which is what i prefer but yeah that's what i decided that i wanted so that if and when i do get my new baby you know the baby will be facing me i can keep an eye on him or her and i'll have a place to carry my purse um a place to carry maybe uh, some of my bags you know uh, if i buy uh, baby accessories or whatever while i'm there so yes i bought me a pram and then I guess when I get home, I will just leave it parked, you know, in my bedroom or wherever, and I'll keep me a baby in it. And, um, yeah, I'll have it the next time if I ever go back to another show. And I'm hoping that Raleigh, I'm hoping that they will do another one. Uh, I'm hoping they'll do other shows, you know. We'll see. I hope they do. I hope this is a huge success for our neck of the woods, for our area, and uh, yeah, that would be really great. I would love to have, you know, a doll show to get to go to, you know, every year. That would be, that would be wonderful. 
I'm going to take these really thick socks off of Rose. She's a beautiful, sweet girl. She has got jet black hair, you guys. This is the only uh, baby in my nursery that I have that has that jet black hair, but she does. Is she, is she beautiful or what? Um, she doesn't get enough video time. She doesn't get enough YouTube time in. But when I do show her, I fall in love with her all over again. So yeah, that's my precious rose for all my new subscribers. And then some of my uh, subscribers, uh, some of you that might have been with me for a while, and it's a great possibility you forgot, you could have forgotten about her because it's, like I said, it's been a while since I've shown her. But yeah, um, anyway, I did, I bought me a pram, pram slash stroller. Uh, the ladies in the UK call them prams. It's not, it's not a, one of the beautiful ornate, you know, prams like what I would really like to have. But, um, it's, uh, it will serve the purpose that I need it for. You know what I'm saying? It'll serve that purpose. Because I really, I'm going to need something, you guys. Some, somehow to, some way of carrying my purse. Um, it'll kind of help me to be um, more, um, you know, to have something to push along. Kind of like if you're in a grocery store, you know, pushing a grocery cart or something. It'll help me. I feel like it will help me a lot. I'm not getting any younger. I'm not an old, old woman, but I'm not getting any younger either. So, yeah, I, uh, I just felt like I needed something. And it's like I said, it's not something that I would have ever thought that I would buy. But, yeah, I did. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. Let me get this little um, pillow for her. Put her little head on so you all can see her a little better. I'll brush her hair out just a little bit. Doesn't really need brushing. Um, my sweet Rose has absolutely the most wonderful, wonderful, beautiful baby mohair that you have ever seen in your life. One of my favorite babies' uh, hair. Oops. One of my favorite babies' hair in my nursery is Rose's hair. And I like to just brush her little bangs down straight like that. Cause the hair, the hair is so black and it's so beautiful. I just love, I love it. The way the hair looks, you know, like coming around her face. So yeah, this is kind of a corally, cor a coral. This color is like a corally peachy pink. You can see it up next to this pink pink. But I think this will work. What do you think, Shara? You think this will work out okay? I hope so. I just, I found this in there and it's nice and thin. It's not a really thick, you know, bundlesome outfit. And it's warmed up. It's gotten really warm here in my part of the, the world. So yeah. But yeah, this is my Wednesdays We Wear Pink. Um. Let's see, is there anything I wanted to tell you? I went and got my groceries a while ago. Um, we were gonna go out and eat and we skipped that part. We just weren't, we weren't really in the mood. Um, I called <laughs> while I was out and about and I had to wait until I got out to where I could get a really good signal with my cell phone. Um, so I wouldn't get cut off, you know, from my conversation or whatever. But, um, I called and canceled my AT&T um, internet service, and it took them over an hour and a half, you guys. An hour and a half. When we left the house, that's when I called them. When we got out to the main road to where I could get a good signal, that's when I first started calling AT&T AT um, internet. We drove all the way down into uh, down into the city, and we sat in the parking lot 
for at least an hour. And that doesn't include all of the time that I was on the phone with them beforehand. We sat there that long and we waited and we waited and we relentlessly waited some more. And finally, finally got to talk to somebody, to get the job done, to, um, to get my old um, internet um, canceled out. Um, I've got a new internet now. We have a um, HughesNet now. And uh, yeah, um, I'm not being sponsored by either one, by the way. Uh, I wanted to clarify that. I'm not being sponsored. But uh, yeah, um, we got HughesNet now, which I love. I really do my videos upload like really quick. That's my favorite thing about this new internet is because my videos upload like within an hour's time, everything's completed. And that's even with longer videos. So that makes me very excited, makes me very happy. But yes, finally got to the very end of the conversation on um, disconnecting my AT&T internet. And you know what they asked me? You probably do. <laughs> I was so, I was so frustrated, you guys. I was so irritable and mad at them. I just dropped my hanger over here on the floor. Excuse me a minute. I was so aggravated with them. And when I finally got to the end, Excuse me, I had to get my hanger out of the floor. Finally got to the end of the, my conversation to get my old internet unhooked. And they asked me if I minded telling them why we had decided to get rid of our AT&T internet. I wasn't nice, you all. I'm sorry. Nanny was naughty. Nanny wasn't nice. And I said, yes, I mind you asking me why, because number one, I've been on this phone with you all for as long as I have. Um, I've had a very hard time getting through to you all. I've gotten my groceries. We've got our groceries loaded. We've got all of these things done. And we, we are just now getting to talk to somebody. And no, there's... You all don't have to know why I'm getting rid of this internet. I wanted to tell them it was because it was crappy internet, but I didn't. <laughs> but I just said, no. No, as a matter of fact, you can't. You, you, you can't ask me why because, well, quite frankly, and I didn't say this, but I wanted to. But quite frankly, it's none of their business. <laughs> so, anyway... Um, the billing cycle ends on June the 13th, I think, and they're going to disconnect it. And then we have to take, um, the, um, uh, some of our AT&T equipment into UPS, which we don't have to pay to mail back. AT&T is going to take care of that. But because if we don't, then they'll charge us for it. So, yeah, with that being said, you know. It is what it is. Life is how it is. People are how they are, and things are just the way they are. But anyway, yes. Um, uh, okay, uh, one more bit of information. Uh, let me change the subject. Let's go to something a little more cheerful. Um, I have my baby paid for. Um, this baby is a, um, a pre-owned baby. Uh, but my baby is now paid for, and I'm looking very forward to getting that through the mail. Um, I will give you all a heads up I'll, um, as the time gets closer for me to get to get this sweet baby. But um, yeah, that's in the process. And yeah, I'm very excited about it. Looking very, very, very forward to that. I am. But yeah, let's see. Um, Suzanne, if Suzanne's babies, hop over. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> hop over to Suzanne's babies and, and uh, see what she got. Uh, I'll leave that at that. Um, let's see, who else? Oh, there's one more person. Uh, you need to hop over her to her channel, and it's Shelby, S-H-E-L-L-B-E-A. You need to pop over to her channel and look and see what she got. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, that's all I know of that I've caught up on um, just today. Um, that's gotten happy things through the mail. But yeah, I'm going to shut up at that before I fool around and goof up and say something I shouldn't. But anyway, yeah, because I don't want to give no secrets. But anyway, like I said, happy pink um, Wednesday. <laughs> happy on Wednesdays we wear pink. Um, I hope everyone has had a beautiful day. Um, it looks like it's going to rain here. Uh, it's very cloudy. But um, yeah, it's been a great day. I got out and got it. Run around just a little bit. Um, I get cooped up too much sometimes. I stay home too much. I need to get out and and venture out. Venture out into the world. <laughs> it makes me feel better when I do. But anyway, God bless you all. I love you all. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you to my older subscribers. Thank you for all of your comments. It means the absolute world to me. Um, I don't comment on all of them. Um, I heart them sometimes. Now, if you ask me a question, I absolutely will answer. I will answer your question if you have a question for me. Uh, but just please know, please know that when I uh, heart your comments, that means that means that I love you and I appreciate you and I thank you for your for your comments. I thank you for your compliments. Uh, it means the world to me. And um, yeah. It really does. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you go because hubby will be back home here after a while. And you know what happens when hubby comes home. Hubby walks through the door, doggy starts barking, and nanny has to shut her her, her nursery room door. So, I'm going to let y'all go before any of that stuff happens. And me and little Rose are going to go snuggle. Mwah. Love you, aunties and uncles. Mwah. If, I, if she has any little sisters or brothers out there in the community, um, Suzanne used to have a rose, a Rosalie sculpt. I don't think she has her has her anymore. But anyway, if there's any any little sisters or brothers out there, mwah, love to you all. God bless you all, and we will see you tomorrow. Oh, and tomorrow's theme Thursday, so we've got to go in here and find something that's got some pockets. And unicorns. <laughs> God bless you all. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.